Assalamualaikum and hello to everyone. Today we will continue our lesson. Okay, so this video you will learn how to calculate average atomic mass and then relative atomic mass. So this is the formula for you to calculate average atomic mass. It consists of the sum of relative abundance times with isotopic mass over the sum of okay our relative abundance. And then we also we learn how to calculate relative atomic mass based on C12. So relative atomic mass of an atom is the average mass of one atom of an element when compared to 1 over 12 of the mass of one atom of carbon 12. So basically this is the formula average mass of one atom of element that has unit AMU over 1 over 12 times mass of one atom of carbon 12 AMU that has unit AMU. So basically we can cancel this unit both of this unit. So that's why relative atomic mass is unitless. Okay, we try the first example. Okay, so this is the question. We have iridium composed of two isotope 191 and 193 in the ratio of 5 to 8. So the isotopic mass are here 191.021 and 193.025 respectively. So the question wants you to calculate the average atomic mass and relative atomic mass. Therefore, you can simplify the data data given okay, by constructing a table. So, we have two isotopes that have isotopic mass here and also the relative abundance in term of ratio. So, the ratio of 191 IR over 193 IR is 5 to 8. Okay. So, here we want to identify what is the average atomic mass. So, in order to calculate the average atomic mass, we just use the ratio. Okay, so the sum of our relative abundance times with the isotopic mass plus our second relative abundance, 0.193 iridium, okay, times with the times with the uh, the isotopic mass over the sum of the ratio or the, the relative abundance. So here is the average atomic mass. And then in order to find the relative atomic mass of iridium, we compare the value with 1 over 12 of carbon times with car mass of 1 carbon 12. So we get this value 192.2 Five, four. That is unitless because we have cancelled the unit here. Okay. And then next, we try the other example. Okay, so we have element Q that has two isotopes Q25 and Q26. If the relative atomic mass of Q is 25.3, Determine the percentage abundance of each isotope. So, here, we only have the information about we have two isotopes and also the relative atomic mass. Okay. So, next, we can construct a table consists of the first column isotope. They have isotopic mass, 25 and also 26. So, we don't have information about the percentage abundance and we want to find it. So, let percentage abundance of Q25 equal to X percent because it is unknown. And then, let percentage abundance of Q26 equal to 100 minus X. Okay, so this is the relative atomic mass unitless. However, we use this formula. So, this is the average atomic mass. So, here is the unit. Then, we substitute our value in the formula. 
Okay, so this is our X. Okay. And then this is our 100 minus X. So, we solve this equation. And therefore, we get X equal to 70%. Okay, so percentage abundance of Q25, that is X equal to 70%. And also percentage abundance of Q26, Okay, equal to 100 minus x. So, x equal to 70, right? So, the answer is 30%. Okay, so this uh, are two examples that I can show you. I hope you can do more exercise in order to enhance your understanding. And please don't hesitate to ask your lecturer if you have any question. Okay, guys, thank you.